Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will solve one interesting problem based on the sphere. So this question was asked many times in the Mumbai University question paper. So you can mark it as very very important. It can be asked for 4 marks or it can be asked for 8 marks. So we will start reading the question. A heavy roller with a radius 15 cm weighing 1000 Newton is pulled to the right by pulling force T acting at an angle with respect to horizontal a 6 cm step stop the rolling motion of the roller if theta is equal to 30 degree find the magnitude of the force to just start the motion of the roller second find theta to just move the roller over the step by applying minimum force so if only one part is asked it can be asked for 4 to 5 marks or if two parts were asked it can be asked for 8 marks so we'll start with the solution you can mark it as very important question so first case was given when theta is equal to 30 degree and find t to just start the motion of the roller so it should pass through this step so this is a given angle 30 degree now when this applied force is sufficient the roller will start its motion over this step so that's why the motion will be like this so again i will show the motion like this so during this motion as you can see the roller will lost its contact from the surface so there will be contact between the step and the roller so the reaction will be at this surface not on the step okay so very important point remember the reaction force will exist on this surface only on this contact point because there is no contact between the surface and the roller there will be no reaction present in, at this contact point so one reaction here one tension force and a vent force are only components of the concurrent force system for this roller so we'll start analyzing this motion so given angle and this is the reaction that we have got at this point so how we draw ra ra is perpendicular to the surface passing through the center and towards the center so by satisfying all three condition we can draw the reaction at point a so we'll denote it as ra we'll draw one line perpendicular to this surface and the length of this line is equal to radius of the circle that is 15 centimeter then if you draw a horizontal line from this point perpendicular to this line this distance is equal to 9 centimeter why it is 9 centimeter total height is equal to 15 centimeter minus height of this step 6 centimeters so 15 minus 6 it is equal to 9 centimeter so here we got one triangle this is a triangle so height of this triangle is equal to 9 centimeter 15 minus 6 and the hypotenuse of this triangle is equal to the radius of the circle or radius of the roller so it is equal to 15 centimeter so here we are trying to find angle of the reaction for that we have constructed this triangle and angle of reaction can be calculated by using sine relation so sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse so it is 9 divided by 15 so theta is equal to sine inverse of 9 divided by 15 so theta is equal to 36.87 so this is the angle made by ra with the horizontal same angle can be represented here because they are alternate angle so after finding this angle that is 36.87 now we can represent it so first we'll draw the circle draw x-axis then draw the y-axis and show the weight force now weight force always passes through the center and it is in a vertically downward direction so the value of weight force is 2000 newton then show ra the angle of ra with the horizontal is 36.87 now as per the principle of transmissibility we can transfer this ra along its line of action so we have transfer it to the upper side the value of angle is 36.87 and because they are opposite angles so value is same then we'll show the tension in this rod now someone is pulling this rod that's why a tension force should be shown here angle of tension is equal to 30 degree it is the given angle so this value is equal to 30 degree so we have got a concurrent force system of weight force reaction force at a and tension in this rod 
uh, we have not taken the reaction at this point as we had already discussed there is no contact between the roller and the surface that's why reaction is absent here so this point should be remembered by you otherwise you will make mistake you will show reaction here and that will result in the wrong solution now we'll start with the actual solution by applying Lapmeyer's theorem because it forms a three concurrent force system outward forces and system is in equilibrium that's why we can apply the Lapmeyer's theorem so we'll start with the known force that is 2000 newton so 2000 divided by sign of angle between remaining two forces now remaining two forces are r a and t so angle between them is this angle so the value of this angle is total angle 180 minus 36.87 minus 30 so we'll get the value of angle the next force is r a r a divided by sign of remaining two angles are 90 plus 30 then t divided by sine of 90 plus 36.87 so in this way we can write the equation for the Lamis theorem and for the given concurrent force system now we'll compare 2000 divided by sine of 113.13 is equal to ra divided by sine of 120 so ra is equal to 2000 into sine of 120 divided by sine of 113.13 so we'll get the value of ra is equal to 1883.45 newton now we'll compare this side with this side so 2000 divided by sine of 113.13 is equal to t divided by sine of 126.87 so here we get the value of t is equal to 2000 into this cross multiply it sine of 126.87 divided by sine of 113.13 so we'll get the value of t is equal to 1739.854 newton so in this way we had calculated the answer for the tension applied on the rod when theta is equal to 30 degree always remember there is no need to find out the ra if you compare this value with this value you will get the value of t so that is also sufficient okay so no extra marks will be provided for the ra so if you have only limited time you can find t directly you can just compare these two equation you will get the value of tension now we'll go to the case number two find the theta for the minimum value of tension so this is the applied tension t minimum and this is the angle made by this rod with the horizontal remaining values remains as it is so now we'll apply the Lamis theorem for this system so 2000 divided by so the angle between them is this angle this is the angle between them so this angle is equal to 180 total angle is 180 minus 36.87 minus theta it is equal to t minimum divided by sine of angle between r a and 2000 that is this angle 90 plus 36.87 so compare it t is equal to 2000 into cross multiply by sine sine 126.87 divided by sine of 143.13 minus theta so it is 180 minus 36.87 it comes out to be 143.13 so sine of 143.13 minus theta so this is the value of t minimum so by doing the calculation here so 1600 divided by sine of 143.13 minus theta so now we'll find out the value of theta okay now observe this equation 10 by 2 is equal to 5 if we divide 10 by 4 we'll get the value of 2.5 if we divide 10 by 5 we'll get the value 2 and if we divide 10 by 10 we'll get the value 1 so the numerator remains constant but denominator value is changing we are increasing the value of denominator now what is the effect on the output we are getting a reduced output if we go on increasing the denominator so same way if you want to get the minimum value of t so this De denominator should have the maximum value to get the minimum value of t so by this logic we can find that the maximum value of sine theta is equal to 1 so theta is equal to 90 degree so here we can compare sine 90 with sine 143.13 minus theta so 90 is equal to 143.13 minus theta so by rearranging the term we get the value of theta is equal to 53.13 so by using this logic that to get the minimum value of tension 
this denominator should have the maximum value and what is the maximum value of sin theta it is equal to 1 so theta is equal to 90 degree so by comparing we get the value of theta is equal to 53.13 now to calculate the minimum tension required we should put the value of theta in this equation so theta is equal to 53.13 so t minimum is equal to 1600 divided by sin of 143.13 minus 53.13 so here we get the value of t minimum is equal to 1600 newton so in this way we can calculate the value of theta and corresponding minimum tension for the given roller problem so again this is very important question from exam point of view you can re-watch this video if you have any doubt you can write it in the comment box if you want any video on particular topic you can also comment it on the comment box I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.